Everything and girls, how you doing? Uh, let's have another pick a card and today is all about why does it take so long? Mm -hmm. Quite often time is an interesting uh, question in tarot. Uh, it's all about divine timing, of course, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have two um, pile. Yeah, that's what we say. I like so. pile. One, two, one, two. Okay, so pile number one. Why does it take so long? Nine of Cups, Seven of Sword, the Empress. Hmm. Well, obviously, they take so long because they're running away either from um, the feelings towards you or they're kind of very sneaky and they maybe they're not telling you the full truth. They're probably running away from the happiness, they're running away from reality. And obviously they would like to spend quality time with you and they see you as the empress. So someone very together, someone who is very nurturing, loving, powerful um, and beautiful. But at the same time, or handsome of course, but at the same time maybe it's too much to take in. And maybe they don't know how to handle it, maybe they're not quite sure if they're good enough for that. But at the same time they don't also want to face that they are obviously in love with you so let's have more information on that subject yes they need to have some clarity that's a problem with them and then they will be able to move towards harmony and peace but at the moment is very turbulent very stormy within themselves so they need to do some homework obviously they need to go within my need to talk to a good friend a mentor a therapist or whatever just to gain some knowledge about themselves and actually be within their own truth they are not facing the emotion they're not facing um you know the feelings they have about you or maybe there's still on standby waiting for something to happen or maybe maybe there's also another option somewhere you on the other hand you have the intuition or they also might have the intuition this is a very important story in my life but at the same time it can be also a massive challenge for them Yes, they have to drop a certain way of being, maybe dropping um, a lot of responsibility they have over the shoulder, maybe as well dropping the fact to take care of so many people and not actually looking after themselves and living their life for themselves. Maybe that's why they're running away. By taking care of everybody, sometimes we escape our own reality because it's so much easier to take care of everybody, but to look within is much more difficult, much more challenging. So they've been holding on to a certain way of being for a very long time and as it changes the perspective because they know it's time. It's absolutely time. They're checking you out online anyway or checking you out if you know on social media, it doesn't matter. And they see you as someone very grounded and very together, very loyal, very truthful and very sexy. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. Um, but they're procrastinating or they're daydreaming about you but not getting into action so that's why we're still waiting hello um, but yeah they're a very slow mover because maybe letting go and opening up and not you know running away from their own truth it's it's you know um, asking them to actually let go or maybe their vulnerability and let go of their walls and they've been using for so many years in order to you know to, to stay strong so it's it's a big thing it's a big thing yes it definitely have to go within and maybe see a pattern or subconsciously why they actually have those walls um where did that come from? Do they feel like they, they don't deserve love? Do they feel like they're not lovable? Do they feel like they're going to get hurt no matter what? They have some imprinted beliefs that don't belong to them, but yet they're holding on to them. That's just to be ridiculous. So they have a lot of love for you no matter what. And maybe they have love at first sight for you, so they cannot run away forever, okay? It's been a battle. They had to be very you know, courageous and resilient, but they do have to retreat and go within the men cave or woman cave in order to actually appreciate, hold on a minute, okay, because that's what we have. At the end of the road, this happy ever after with the Ten of Cups. So they can all run away from their happiness, from their feelings, and they know they have to maybe open up. Maybe they know someone who talk about feelings and or maybe a way of their own emotions but they have to learn because otherwise they're never going to get there right so that's it pile number one let's see pile number two <clears throat> excuse me why does it take so long the full king of pentacles 
ten of swords okay very straight to the point here well they're not gonna you know mess around forever they're finishing uh, a very very difficult um how can i say um chapter in their life it's a cycle that has been terribly terribly painful they probably felt betrayed or lied to and it's been very they they were very resilient. They keep they kept trying, kept trying, kept trying because it's so resilient. It kind of worked against them because most people would have probably left after you know a couple of you know swords, <laughs> but no, they carry on. I know the feeling. You know, you try and you keep thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna work this time. It's gonna work this time. <clears throat> Excuse me morning voice um so um but yeah they were very very resilient and too resilient for their own good so at the end of the day they also wanted to maintain a certain sense of stability maybe they kind of even if it's just just work you know they say okay you know what i just want to stay stable i want to maintain my financial stability um and also because they respect people so much they didn't think that people could be so fake and betray them and backstabbing them so they maintain 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 but now they know they have to take a leap of faith in the sense of leaving something behind because when you get to 10 then you go back to number one so the end of something beginning of something else so they have to say goodbye to either a job that was really disappointing or a relationship that really didn't you know didn't work out at all so they have a choice between two yes is staying where they are here or going for a gamble going for something brand new <clears throat> excuse me but with a full out the feeling they're going to go for it at the end of the day they have a nostalgia maybe of maybe even nostalgia of love you know they would like to to think okay one day it will happen to me but then at the end of the day the reality is very different they have limiting belief absolutely and they have to get you know break free from those because you know those a lot of people have limiting belief they don't think they deserve to be that happy you know it's only in movies that happen no it can be definitely their realities they just have to believe they're very frustrated so they that's going to push them at some point even though they're very resilient and too resilient for their own good at some point they're going to have to break free yes on the other hand you might be covering your heart as well so you might not tell them really what you feel or maybe they might not be aware of your the intensity of your feelings so as well, as much as they might want to leave something behind because they don't know where you stand then they kind of like yeah i leave something even though it's not great but i'm going somewhere where i don't even know if that person like me or not that's understandable right yes probably there was a third party situation or at least they were very heartbroken very disappointed obviously they've been betrayed and lied to but you know what I'm saying, they have a dilemma, they're ready to leave, but they don't know what is next for the, for themselves. But they're definitely moving uh, away from a bunch of people, a job, um, a, you know, a relationship. They have to, they have to, there's no choice. And yes, they're going for it, they don't even know how, but they're going towards you. They don't know what to expect with you, they don't even know if you share the same kind of emotion. But at the end of the day, they're going for it and they want to heal the situation. And heal themselves. It's part of their own healing at the end of the day. They want to make it work, which is beautiful. Or if it's about work, they will find a new way to earn their money. You know, it doesn't really matter. At least they will be in a positive uh, surrounding. Whereas they were, I mean, they still are at the moment in a position where it's very negative and backstabbing. So yes, they hold on. <coughs> excuse me. They hold on to um, their foundation, or maybe they feel maybe they need to rebuild their foundation before they can go to the next level. Fair enough. Um, it, it's been a battle, but you know they cannot stay in that playing safe forever because as well as we're going to spend Christmas over this. I mean, obviously, and they want a reconciliation. So here you have it. It's just a matter of appreciating a situation is over. They've done more. They were that they were supposed to. They fight to make it happen, to make it last it. Uh, but obviously, they're facing a surrounding that is very negative, very um, backstabbing. And at the end of the day, even if they have limiting belief and they don't know how you feel and they don't know what tomorrow will bring, they know they cannot stay where they are anymore. Here we go. Et voilà. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Ciao.